Good day, everyone. This is Jason. I'm glad to be here to share the Supermap Full Progress Image Management Technology Solution with, with all of you. My presentation has three parts. They are technical solution, key technology, and typical applications. So the first part is technical solution of image management. If you need to deal with a large amount of JS data, including a large amount of image data or massive image data, I think you must have encountered such challenges, such as it takes too long to import and to manage massive image data. It takes too long to process and to analyze massive image data. And also it is difficult to share and distribute massive image data. So based on those kind of challenges, we provide the uh, technical system of uh, architecture diagram of uh, image data management. We divide it based on the architecture level. The bottom layer is a data layer. Multi-source remote sensing data can be connected to the image management process, such as TIFF and GeoTIFF. Then in the storage layer, data is stored through various file storage system, such as local disk, NAS, or cloud storage. Later, we will compare the differences both by different type of storage in detail. However, in the whole process management, the original data will not exist directly in the spatial data engine, but in the way of MOSAC data set. Only the metadata of image data is stored in the spatial data engine for maintenance and update. This metadata are stored in the file spatial data engine. Uh, we call it UDB, UDBX, or the database spatial data engine in the form of MOSAC data set. Then in management analysis layer, there are a lot of management and analysis functions are provided, such as query, update, distribution, and geoprocessing model, and geoAI-related functions. Then we can publish our image data and JS capabilities to web. It's service layer. The map service mainly provide base map for applications, and image service provide the capability of image data management, download, distribution, and so on. The GP service or geoprocessing service and machine learning service are also being provided. We will talk the details later. The top layer is the application layer. Based on these infrastructures, we can implement different applications in different industries. The second part is the key technology. This is the life cycle of remote sensing data or image data. After data acquisition, the first step is to carry out the process of data production, such as remo removing noise, removing clouds, correcting diversion, and uh, setting eco color. These tasks are often completed by professional image data production companies, or data collector will directly complete them. Next is the business scope of Supermap, or we can say GIS platform, including image data management, including image data uh, management, warehousing and uh, analysis, publishing service, and uh, multi-terminal display. These functions can be provided by GIS platform. The final one, image data application, refers to the applications to actual system in different industries, which are also completed by solution providers in various industries. If above process corresponds to the technical role of raster data, it also can be expressed in this figure. This is the raster data technical role. First, after processing the original data, you need to create a MOSAC data site and warehousing. The data can be stored in local disk, NAS, or cloud storage. Then we can choose two technical roles. One is slicing free publishing service. The another one is generating tiles or cache and then publish service. 
later we will compare the advantage and disadvantage of these two te technical roads in detail. And finally, the GIS services can be used for the construction of web applications. Then let's take a look at the role that GIS platform can play in each process. The first one is image data management. We have mentioned MOSAC data site many times. So what is it? In fact, a MOSAC data site is a data site that store metadata such as the path and range of each independent image data. The MOSAC data site itself is stored in the spatial data engine, but the image data is directly stored in the local disk. MOSAC data sites are split together according to the location of each file for overall display on PC or on web. All right. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there is some problem with my PowerPoint. And uh, let's continue. And uh, also, this is displaying a Mosaic data site. And uh, the Mosaic data site has the following three layers. The first is the boundary. The boundary is the range of all raster data sites defined by the outline of the raster data site in the MOSAC data site. And then it's footprint. Footprint means the contour line or uh, outline contains the contour of each raster in the MOSAC data site. We can see the green line, they are footprint. And then it's raster. Raster, or uh, we can say it's also image data they are actually stored single or multi bunch images. As for different, different storage methods, except that uh, earlier we mentioned the cloud storage is not an actual storage method, but uh, it's a server type. It mainly has the following three types. Due to the limitation of performance and device configuration, Local disks are often used to, to store a relatively small amount of data, such as in the test environment or when the data volume and concurrency requirements are not very high, it's often used to, to store gigabyte or terabyte level data. And NAS is a, a relatively professional storage type. Its full name is Network Attached Storage. It can be used to, to store terabytes of data and uh, support county and uh, city level applications. The most professional storage method is object storage, which can even support PB level data for national or provincial applications, but it needs professional service to provide spatial support. There are also some methods to improve the performance of MOSAC data site display, such as overview, image pyramid, and dynamic MOSAC. Grid pyramid or image pyramid is actually similar to the traditional pyramid created for grid data. We can improve the display efficiency by displaying data with different details at different levels. The overview is similar to the grid uh, pyramid, but its resolution is lower than that of the, the grid pyramid. But, uh, and it has more advantages in improving display speed and uh, reducing CPU occupation. This is a browsing effect after the overview is created for 360 get gigabyte image data, it only takes 43 minutes to create the view, which can uh, sufficiently improve the, bro uh, the browsing speed of image map under small scale. And next, 
is the image data management function based on Mosaic data sites, such as creation, inspection, export, modification, optimization, etc. After the Mosaic data site is created, in terms of display, we can use overview, image pyramid, and uh, dynamic forward function to improve rendering performance. In terms of management, we mainly provide the functions of image export, image update, special query, and uh, metadata management, such as adding new image data and uh, browsing attributes table and uh, the distribution of image data based on spatial query. Such as here, we draw a bond or draw a polygon to query the specific data and uh, find the path in the local disk. And uh, it also supports update paths, add, delete, and uh, update images. And uh, the last one is the export of image data. We can export the those bond uh, in the specific bond bonds of image data directly. And this is a typical application of global image data. The data volume of global image data is three to four terabytes, and the data is stored in the NAS environment built by our uh, laboratory. And the second step in the full process image technical support is the image processing analysis. Image processing analysis mainly contain the following three parts. They are basic analysis, distributed analysis, and AI analysis. So talking about basic analysis, there are a lot of uh, functions, such as the conversion between vector and raster, like your vector to raster, data type conversion and uh, uh, image stretch, map ruler, temporal data, image cache. And also there are some analysis, uh, analysis function or process function like resampling, reclassification, um, pixel, pixel format conversion and others. This one is showing the raster statistical analysis. There are many five types of statistical methods, like the basic statistics, common statistics, neighbor statistics, zonal statistics, and elevation statistics. And also the surface, the surface analysis are also being provided, such as extract all ISO surface, 3D shadowing map, single point visibility analysis, multi-point visibility analysis, and aspect analysis, and others. And reclassification is also one important function in the image data processing. The NDVI and NDWI are commonly used tools based on remote sensing image analysis. According to this parameter, we can know the nitrogen demand of crops in different seasons, which plays an important guiding role in the rational application of nitrogen uh, fertilizer. And, uh, uh, the, and also the, district, the second part of uh, image data processing is the distributed analysis and uh, calculation, such as the project conversion, uh, such as the resampling, reclassification, data sets cropping. In fact, the grid, grid data distributed processing doesn't provide new processing tools, but adopts a distributed way to greatly improve the processing performance based on image data. For example, we can uh, take a look at the picture, the blue time consumption is based on the result of eight nodes of Spark. Compared with the traditional single node processing, the performance is improved by 15 times. At the same time, distributed processing supports function splicing and assembly, 
intermediate data doesn't need to be stored on the ground. And the overall performance can be improved by about 50 times. We can also use GPTOR to work with distributed analysis to efficiently complete a series of data processing tasks. And uh, next one is the GeoAI function. The GeoAI function based on deep learning will also greatly improve the use efficiency of image data. In the last report, the uh, technology of GeoAI has been introduced in detail. So I think I don't need to talk a lot of it. Okay, now we go to the third part of remote sensing technology, which is image service release. There are several types of services supported based on the image data. This one is the image based map service, or it's, uh, we can call it as map service. It can be published by REST or by WMTS structure. And uh, we always use this kind of service to be the base map in different web application. And another one is image service. It has the following functions like quick release based on image catalog. <coughs> Sorry, internal resource access based on STAC protocol and image service display, image service filtering, image service retrieval. Here from the video, we can see we, we can just uh, based on the MOSAC data site to publish it as an image service. It's very easy to operate and then we can get the uh, all of the resources of this MOSAC, including every independent file data, data file, and also we can browse all the overall map from the uh, based on the image service. And also it provides us, provide us the function like uh, uh, showing all the grid or footprint of every uh, image file. And uh, we can also draw a bounce or draw a polygon to query the specific area and you get all of the files, then it's supposed to download the TIFF file. And the GP service also provided, uh, it can be based on the image data, such as uh, it, support, it can be supported in the uh, create, manage, reverse optimization and release and also in the image analysis, it supports the machine learning, distributed analysis, and uh, space analysis. This is one case of uh, GP service, which is the analysis of uh, cultivated land quality based on WebGP. We can make the complex, uh, the complex different types of um, process tasks into one model and you just with one click to run all of them. And then the last part of the uh, technical support is the multi-terminal display of images. Here, we first compare the advantage and disadvantage of cache and uh, slicing free schemes in detail. In recent years, the, the, sli uh, the slicing free scheme is very popular, giving people the uh, illusion that it can replace the cache scheme in an all wrong way. But in fact, caching scheme still has many irreplaceable advantages. The caching scheme has low requirements for hardware configuration, can easily support a large number of concurrency, and has no requirements for website optimization. However, the advantage of slice free scheme is that it supports frequent data updates and uh, make it easier to upload and download data. Therefore, after understanding the comparison of these two schemes, you can be more clear, know which one to choose for your own object.
for your own project. And uh, this is the picture showing the caching scheme. We have different methods uh, to generate the cache, such as single machine, single task, single machine, multitask, and uh, multi machine, multitask. And the tile type can be raster tiles, vector tiles, and 3D tiles. The storage type, we can store them with original format or with compact format. And also the tiles can be stored into MongoDB. And in the update area, in the update level, it supports the inspection, update, or addition, and uh, resume. And uh, this one is showing a slicing free. This is a TB level, terabyte level raster data, slicing free released. We can see the browsing and virtualization is very smooth. OK, now we go to the third part of my presentation, which is typical applications based on image data. The remote sensing image management technology can be used in many industries and fields, such as land resources, water conversa uh, cons cons conservancy, conservation, uh, smart city, agriculture, meteorology, emergency management, and uh, transportation. First, in the water conservancy remote sensing application, we can use it to, we can based on the remote sensing data to achieve the water body monitoring. And also we can achieve the post disaster loss estimation. According to historical remote sensing data, real time remote sensing data, on-site survey data extra, the disaster loss is fully verified. And the living conditions of the victims are evaluated uh, at the same time, so as to provide decision-making support for the restoration and the reconstruction of the disaster area and the relief arrangement for the victims. And in the information service area, the, uh, uh, it also can be used in the water conservation, uh, con conservancy remote sensing application, such as in the float risk map management system, it, it is integrate basic geographic information and float control business information and use regional float risk assessment modules to form a float control operational command map. Combined with the float calculation module, it realizes the real-time dynamic analysis and the prediction of the process characteristics such as the float evolution route, arrival time, uh, inundation depth, inundation range, and uh, flow velocity of the possible flow float that uh, may occur beyond the standard float and carries out float impact analysis simulation and float disaster loss assessment, provide plan support for float prevention emergency decision making. Similar system can be used for joint monitoring and early warning. And another one is decision support system for safety production of water conservancy project. Based on accident, hidden dangers, dangerous sources and other data combined with technical means such as remote sensing interpretation, video silver, silver lines, AI uh, semantic recognition extra to realize dynamic area and uh, engineering safety risk status assessment. Global to local safety production same linkage um, penetration query statistics online visualized consultation and full life circle measurement of production safety objects to provide auxiliary decision making support for water conservancy production safety supervision department <clears throat> and uh, and in the agriculture area there are two uh, there are many two typical cases the first one is crop planting distribution. It based on high resolution remote sensing data, 
combined with ground service, it realizes vegetation type identification, plot area extraction, and other monitoring, assisting the agriculture department to grasp the total amount and changes of farmland and crop planting resources. And for crop yield estimation, that is based on machine learning technology, integrating historical crop year data, crop reproduction, uh, reproductive period, physical, uh, physiological models, and uh, remote sensing image retrieval index calculation results. Establish crop yield estimation models, estimate crop yields, and uh, help agriculture management department to grasp, to grasp crop yield information. And also in the agriculture uh, industry, uh, there are some other cases like the crop monitoring that is based on multi-temporal remote sensing images covering the entire crop life cycle, analyzing the characteristics of long-term crop reflectance uh, spectral uh, combining with crop physiological characteristics data, establishing a remote sensing crop growth monitoring model for dynamic, gro dynamic crop growing monitoring. And the crop disaster the crop disaster monitoring is combined multi-scale remote sensing data, GIS data, ground data extra, complete disaster assessment and monitoring. Actually, investigation and damage assessment improve the efficiency of farmland disaster damage assessment and efficiently solve the problems of information faced in the uh, process of agriculture insurance operations. And the, and the agriculture resource monitoring can be, it is built an agriculture information platform to move towards digital agriculture. And to, in the smart city area, smart city is very popular this year. In order to crop construction dust, which is one of the source of urban smog, the Environmental Protection Department requires that uh, exposed uh, construction sites being covered with dust-proof nets. These dust-proof nets are made of are made of plastic and uh, are mostly green. They are called urban green nets. Remote sensing images can monitor the distribution of green networks on a large scale, saving time and manpower for environmental monitoring department to carry out large scale investigations. And the smart city platform is composed of real time image data, a picture image data, remote sensing monitoring and a remote sensing information monitoring platform constructed by a collection of multi-source information such as uh, cultivated land data, construction land, industrial and mining land, forest land, water area, and basic geography, so as to realize the dynamic monitoring of resource purpose. The last one is in the traffic remote sensing application. The remote sensing is very important in the traffic applications, such as the highway and the satellite image, extract and update the road network efficiently and quickly and also we can use remote sensing to monitor geological subsidence and to serve for site selection and in the maritime uh, or offshore oil and gas platform monitoring that is the remote sensing te technology can obtain real-time information of maritime vehicles and can monitor information such as oil spills, inter uh, sea ice uh, extra that have an impact on maritime traffic. Okay, that's all of my presentation. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening.